It's been a really busy summer, so I haven't had a chance to put up any videos. But I'm working on an Arduino project, and I've gone through a couple board revisions. And I wanted to share with you, because I'm not ready to release this project yet, but one of the things I've learned in designing a board, when you're doing text, such as like C1, D1, L1, doesn't matter, for each component, or if you want to do some sort of text on your board, I want to do a comparison and show you what it looks like first with silk screen, the normal white silk screen, and then second using the solder mask with the copper below to do your lettering on your board. So here's two revisions of the board I'm currently working on. This being the older, this being the newer board. Now, I've definitely found out it's good to use silk screen for outlining components or pens or certain sections, but when it comes to doing text, definitely the solder mask layer is a lot more readable, such as here. There's a lot more fine detail when you use the solder, uh, solder mask layer versus using standard silk screen, especially when it comes to doing very small prints, such as my components here, C4, C5, C2. Then you look down here and you can see I use the solder mask layer for everything and I can even draw lines in here. It's much more crisp and a lot more detail. Not to mention the gold or copper finish on it gives it a much more professional look to it. So there you go. Nice, quick and simple. Just showing you the difference between using silk screen or the solder mask layer for text. The solder mask is a 10 times better quality and it looks better anyway, it looks more professional. The one thing you do have to remember when you're actually doing anything with the solder mask layer, make sure in whichever program you're using, whether it be KiCad, Eagle, Altium, whichever it be, the only way this actually works correctly so you get that copper look through, you have to do all your fill zones. So you gotta have your whole extra copper plate. You don't wanna dissolve the copper, you want it there so this way, when you put your text on your solder mask layer, there actually is copper underneath of it. 